வணக்கம் குட் மார்னிங் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் த மெக்கானிக்கல் ஈவெண்ட்ஸ் டூரிங் த ஹிலிட்டல் மசில் கண்ட்ராக்ஷன் திஸ் இஸ் த இம்பார்ட்டண்ட் ஷார்ட் நோட்ஸ் இன் த மசில்ஸ் ஃபிசியாலஜி வாட் இஸ் எக்ஸைட்டேஷன் கண்ட்ராக்ஷன் கப்ளை that is sequence of events which spread the action potential in the muscle cell membrane leads to cross bridge activity what is cross bridge activity that is the portion of the myosin molecules extend from the thick plumen towards the thin plumen is called as the cross bridge activity so in the what are the important steps occur in the excitation contraction coupling excitation of the muscle fiber by impulse passing through the motor nerve and neuromuscular junction nmj means neuromuscular junction it generation of the oxygen potential in the muscle fiber or uh, sarcolemma cell membrane of the muscle it spread action potential via the t tubule of the sarcotubular system sarcotubular system the system is a modified endoplasmic reticulum in the muscle so it gets the one t tubule to l tubule so the spread of action potential via the t tubule and the entrance of the action potential reaches the cistern of the l tubule and t tubule is and l tubule is connected by the dihydropyridine receptor dihydropyridine receptor and uh, entrance of the action potential is reaches the l tubule it releases the calcium ions from the l tubule of the cistern it gets the another one rhinodian receptor rhinodian receptor releases the calcium ions the movement of the calcium towards the actin filament calcium uh, calcium is attached with the move towards the actin filament it the calcium is bind with the troponin c myosin get binding with the actin for binding with the myosin head with the actin the atp is attached with the myosin head so the atp is converted to adp and high energy phosphate the myosin head is just attached with the actin filaments actin filaments so in this diagram shows the tilting of the myosin head tracks the actin filaments so the adp is converted to adp and high energy phosphate that high energy phosphate utilize the tilting of the myosin head and track the actin filaments towards the center towards the center of the thick filament that is called as the power stroke power stroke so it uses the high energy phosphate the mechanical events of the skeletal muscle contraction is called as the sliding mechanism or walk walk along theory so it mainly due to the release of the large amount of the calcium from the cisternae of the l tubule when the uh, l tubule releases the large amount of the calcium so in the muscle cell intracytoplasmic calcium level is increases the calcium is binding with the troponin c troponin c so it change the position of the troponin it relieve the binding site of the actin with the myosin so it uh, already in the troponin i is inhibit the binding of the myosin with the actin that is open open so now uh, myosin is ready to bind with the actin pulling of the tropomyosin molecules away from the actin so actin binding site is now exposed 
so attachment of the myosin head with the actin and tilting of tilting of the myosin head and tracking the actin filament that is called as the power stroke the sliding mechanism for detachment of the myosin head and returning to the original position needs the atp is binding with the myosin head otherwise contraction will remain same position so after the death in the rigor mortis occur due to the non availability of the atp molecule due to this, this step is affected so the detachment for the normal people detachment of the myosin head and returning to the original position needs the atp is binding with the myosin head attachment of the myosin head to the new active site of the actin and tracking the actin filament towards the center so the repetition repetition of this action is occur until the contraction is over so movement of the actin filament on the both the sides towards each other and formation of the actin myosin complexes so it contraction of the muscle is occur this diagram depicts the events of the cross breath cycles so when you are writing the theory examination you go to draw this diagram so this is a thick plumen this is a thin plumen here it is having the actin molecules here myosin head so for the contraction the atp is converted to the adp and phosphate so first the at myosin head is just attached with the actin so expose part of the actin then uh, due to the power stroke using of the high energy phosphate it track the actin towards the center of the molecule center of the both the side it track center so same in, uh, for detachment the atp is attached to the myosin head again so it is helpful to uh, detachment so this atp is again converted to the adp and phosphate so this cycle is re repeated for the full contraction is over so this is helpful for the movement of the skeletal muscle activity power stroke is the main event for the contraction it use the high energy phosphate in the myosin head it track the actin filament towards the center during the muscle relaxation pumping of the calcium ion back, back into the l tubule of the sarcotubular system through the sarcoplasmic and endoplasmic reticulum calcium pump it decreases the sarcoplasmic calcium content release of calcium ions from the troponin c detachment of the myosin head from the actin so it produces the muscle relaxation so during the muscle relaxation atp should be bind with the myosin get atp also helpful calcium ion should pump back to the l tubule through the sarcoplasmic endoplasmic reticulum calcium pump summary in the mechanical events of the skeletal muscle contractions when the action potential travel through the motor nerve through the neuromuscular junction reaches the muscle cell membrane it travels through the t tubule and reaches the l tubule releases the calcium ion into the muscle cell so this calcium is bind with the troponin c so that uh, move the tropomyosin away from the actin binding sites the myosin gate is bind with the actin track towards the center with the help of high energy phosphates so this contract this cycle is repeated cross press cycle is repeated for the muscle relaxation calcium is pump back into the l tubule of the sarcoplasmic reticulum through the sarcoplasmic endoplasmic uh, reticular calcium pump so when the calcium level is decreased the myosin get is detached from the actin it produces the muscle relaxation thank you for watching this video if you like this video share your friends those who are not subscribe this channel please subscribe thank you once again